Perhaps Chicago's greatest asset is its lakefront. There are 24 miles of Lake Michigan shoreline in the city, and most of that is open and occupied by public parks. But there's also a highway running alongside it, Dusabla Lakeshore Drive. It's a 16-mile, eight-lane road, and it's undoubtedly a Chicago icon. But Lakeshore Drive also faces serious problems and is thus currently undergoing a massive redesign. So what does the future hold for Lakeshore Drive and Chicago Shoreline? This is Built World, and today we're talking about the future of Lakeshore Drive. Lakeshore Drive has been around in some form since the early 1900s. And over the years, it has been built up into a lakefront highway, eight lanes wide in most places. But the road's age and proximity to the lake are causing issues. In general, Chicago has always been battling against the forces of Lake Michigan. Flooding from increasingly frequent storm surges causes periodic shutdowns of Lakeshore Drive and accelerate wear and tear on its aging bridges and tunnels. And climate change is only making these issues more frequent. The road's antiquated design makes accidents a common occurrence as it makes its way through the tight space between the city of Chicago and Lake Michigan. So leaders intend to address this issue with a massive infrastructure project that will involve redesigning and rebuilding a seven mile northern portion of the road, stretching from downtown Chicago to its northern terminus at Hollywood Avenue. The project is still in planning stages, but it's expected to involve the reconstruction of key interchanges like at Chicago Avenue, Oak Street, and Belmont. And it also includes widening the roadway, if not adding lanes, adding more space to lanes for safety reasons. But the project's biggest component is adding around 80 acres of fill. This fill will essentially create new land and extend the city's shoreline in an attempt to further fortify the city and the road from the forces of the lake. While it's a massively ambitious idea, it's not the first time Chicago has been altering its lakefront. In fact, that's happened since the city's inception. Grant Park, for example, was built on reclaimed land that used to be part of the lake, as well as Northerly Island, Burnham Park, and much of Lincoln Park. And in the 30s and 50s, major expansions of Lakeshore Drive extended the shoreline by hundreds of feet. So the current proposal to rework Lakeshore Drive is just the latest example of redefining how the lake meets the city, adding 83 acres of additional parkland, bulkhead, and beaches, while streamlining and widening the roadway. But in the midst of this massive multi-billion dollar redesign, it may be worth asking a fundamental question about the future of Lakeshore Drive. Chicago shoreline is undoubtedly one of its most definitive features. The majority of it is designated for public use, an extensive network of parks, trails, marinas, beaches, and cultural amenities. This open, public shoreline is quite unique, especially in the United States. And yet it's constrained by an eight-lane barrier of noise and fast-moving traffic. Because Lakeshore Drive occupies much of the lakefront right-of-way, it greatly impedes access to the lake. Much of Chicago's lakefront amenities can only be accessed via pedestrian tunnels, bridges, or underpasses. And these facilities are often undersized and somewhat hostile, in addition to being few and far between. In fact, in some places, lake access can be over a mile apart. For Chicagoans who want to enjoy Lake Michigan, Lakeshore Drive is walling off the city from the lake. To be fair, the proposal for a reimagined Lakeshore Drive does somewhat address this need for better public access. Rendering show improved pedestrian bridges, tunnels, and possible caps above the roadway. But at the same time, they show a wider, more stark gap between the city and its lakefront. Perhaps highlighting the project's real priority, the fast movement of traffic. Another telling fact about the project's real goals is who's in charge. Lakeshore Drive is under the control of the Illinois Department of Transportation, an organization devoted to, well, building and maintaining highways. Could there be disconnect between the goals of IDOT and the goals of Chicago residents? 
Without ignoring the need for vehicular access to the lakefront, it's possible to imagine an alternative scenario. One where Lakeshore Drive resembles something closer to a city street, including a narrower roadway, street trees, bike and transit lanes, and safe and frequent pedestrian crossings. Projects like these have been hugely successful in places like San Francisco, Madrid, and Portland, opening up the waterfront for improved pedestrian access. Chicago's lakefront is something the city should be proud of. Dating back to the founding of the city, there's always been a public ethos for maintaining a lakefront that is, quote, forever open, clear, and free. But Lakeshore Drive and its future should center on a key question. Is the highway a public good, or is it an obstruction?